Hey everybody, welcome back to Inside Arizona, where Gwen and I are going to take you through Flagstaff, Arizona. Beautiful place, you're going to love it. We're going to drive through the back streets and all that. Come join us, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, Flagstaff, uh, price of gas is a little higher than I thought it would be. But as you can see, they got uh, all kinds of junk food junction here too. Well, the college is right there. Yeah, yeah. And all this brand new uh, uh, apartment buildings here too. These are all new. But Bun Huggers over here on the left, they've, now they've Good. been there forever. Good burgers. And this right here is Route 66, as we're going to be jumping on momentarily. Oh, it's nice and cool up here. 79 degrees when it's 110 in Phoenix. Oh, I bet it's more than that in Phoenix right now. Yeah, they've been having Phoenix right now. This is, uh, what is today? July. No, June. Or July. No, it's July. July. <laughs> <laughs> July um, 8th. And they're having, I mean, record-breaking, uh, record-breaking heat wave in Phoenix. I mean, one like uh, hadn't happened in 117 years or something like that. Really hot. Then you got more of the college. They're yep. kind of spread out a little bit everywhere. Yeah, this is the old part. Yeah. The original college. Let's go ahead and take them around. Uh, we'll just stay on 66. Okay. Then we'll come back on uh, Butler or Milton. Yeah, Butler. There's Milton. Yeah, we're on Milton. We're on Milton. Yeah. Another apartment complex. So they're really building up for that because they bring in a lot of students. Then Rhonda's, Mike and Rhonda's over here in the place. Breakfast. Breakfast is absolutely mm. outstanding. The biscuits and gravy is mm, sop it up with the green. Uh, really good. Yeah, it's really, really good. You can tell we're all about the food. <laughs> <laughs> well, we get asked by you guys all the time about food. Then okay. you have your uh, it's like they're having a flea market type or um, probably craft fair. Yeah, this is uh, this is kind of a neat part of town. Their downtown area, I guess. And you have the Amtrak station, the old uh, railway station. Now this runs, the train runs through here a lot. A lot. As a matter of fact, they have a webcam on this building here that you can watch it live at all times. Yeah, remember there used to be that one guy that thought it was funny to roll through town at 3 o'clock in the morning and blow his horn from one end to the other. <laughs> we used to live here too, so we enjoyed it here. Uh, it does get cold during the winter. It gets really cold, but surprisingly dry. I never, almost never had to scrape the ice off the windshield in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Got Flagstaff Brewery right there. Yeah, this is like I said, this is a college town. I mean, yep, and they get a lot of tourists going on. To, oh, yeah, escaping the heat. And in the winter, people ski. There's a ski resort. So, <laughs> the it is busy and not busy <laughs> at certain times of year. Uh, when school's in, it is busy, flat out busy. Uh, Ski season, it gets to be really busy then too, because they have snowball up north, not too far away either, and it seems to be uh, a really nice place if you want to go and you know they have some really good skiing. Well, and they have separate runs for snowboarders. Yeah, they had a really long ski season this year, all the way from. Like Halloween all the way up until about a month ago. Had a lot of snow. And you have all your, uh, these are the old 66, Route 66 uh, 
motels and stuff here on the left. They are, uh, they're cleaned up now. I mean, they, <laughs> they were some of the ones that you didn't want to stay in, but uh, they did a really good job of uh, bringing them up to date and so forth. So if you get a chance, you might want to take a look at that if you're coming through Flagstaff. Yeah, Flagstaff's a great town. I think it's uh, one that has almost everything you're going to need, I think. It has a lot to offer. Then over here to the right, that's all the industrial stuff. They have their fair share of <laughs> Starbucks and oh yeah, and so forth. That's a big liquor store. Yeah, <laughs> Culver's. That's always a good place to eat for fast food. Yep, quite enjoy their fish and chips. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and salsa brava is really salsa good. salsa brava. That's the one I was talking about. That was yeah a little higher in money. And they do have a lot of construction going on. see what they're building over to your right here down the road that's at aquatic center yeah that is really neat that big fancy looking building over there it's neat you go so swimming. you're around swimming yeah so. museum club <laughs> yeah that's fun oh my gosh yeah, it's a good thing we didn't live very far. When before. we were younger. <laughs> Much younger, yes. Oh. I guess that's supposed to be haunted. Well. One of the owners died there and just never left. <laughs> <laughs> so they got him stuffed in a corner. Yeah. And for you Easterners, I don't know if you know about Jack in a Box. Yum. Um. Yeah, they're just, it's another, it's a hamburger place that, uh, I know that they're, they're not back east and there's a lot of people that have it here and then go back there and wish they did have it there. So yeah, we, we've had it since I was, we've, there's always been a jack of yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize there wasn't any back east until we were in Michigan and it's like, let's go to Jack in a Box for lunch and they didn't have it. Yeah, they're going, what are you talking about? Then, median, medium household, what, what are we looking at? About 750, which is really high. It's 12% uh, higher than Phoenix, but it's 14% cheaper than Sedona. <laughs> Sedona is really stupid, crazy expensive. Well, I guess it depends on what you're used to paying from wherever you move from, but it just seems awful high to me. Plus, did you read somewhere that it, they're, they're not building as many homes here because yeah, they're not they're, allowing it, it, I guess? Yeah, between, you know, the, the college and, you know, they don't want to encroach too much on the wilderness. Um, because so much of it is owned by the state, there's just nowhere to build more houses. And then you can go out of town 20 miles and, you know, build something out there, but in Flagstaff itself, not so much. No. And they're tearing down a lot of older stuff, it doesn't matter, to build all those apartment complexes for the college students. Yep. Dog house. Dog house. That is good though. If you uh, if you're get a hankering for a dog for a, a dog. Ooh, look at that a spam burrito. <laughs> That's a little different. <laughs> but yeah, that right there, uh, dog house, burgers and more. So let's go and uh, we're gonna go take you through some kind of the back streets a little bit, and we'll take you down downtown. But this is going to give you an idea of what it's really like. Yeah. 
So many people just do the main street, and that doesn't tell you half the story. You got Oxendale, they've been here for a while. Yeah. But this is another of your uh, car lots. Well, it used to be De La Row, and now it's not. <laughs> Surgery center, bone and joint. I could use that. They do have some beautiful neighborhoods through here. We're more of a outskirts type of people, but they really do the. The people were just so nice here. Still are. I mean, it just. Are you gonna say something? Oh, it's it's a pretty easy going place. Not uh, not uptight at all. All right, let's get down this way. This beaver. Yep. Oh, and Mama's Burgers are up that way, isn't it? Actually, I think it's to block just straight. down. Just okay. straight, yeah. You get a chance, Mama's Burger is up here. I guess they're famous for their milkshakes. Uh, but yeah, they do have some really tasty burgers. Yeah, when you're in Flagstaff in these back neighborhoods, you really gotta watch the one-way street signs. <laughs> Yeah, we almost did that once. Well, the streets but are old and they're narrow. They get some nice looking apartments. I mean, they really did a really good job with it here. And they're keeping it nice and quaint, I guess. Making them look like they match. Yeah. Because this has been here forever and ever. But, you know, they have to make it all kind of match. Then like this church right here. This has been here a long time. Looks like it needs a bit of freshening up. Theater company. Yeah, the municipal court building. Yeah, it's kind of Kind of cool. So now we're getting closer to downtown and right off the 66. Route 66. Everybody seems to want to. You gotta say it that way or something. Yeah, you gotta make a big deal. But. More one way streets. Then you got the motel. The view. That's actually, uh, that's a landmark. You got pretty rocks in there. Yeah. Uh, this is part of uh, the downtown where kind of everybody goes, the shops, the, the in crowd, I guess. Yep, the, the food and drink. The Hotel Monte Vista. Yeah, that's... Um, I think that's... Over a hundred years old. Neat. Yep. See what's authentic inside too. A 
lot of there's some drinking going on here. I don't know. It's college town, but <laughs> <laughs> they like to drink. Uh, they have some really big breweries and wineries here. So there's always a local beer on tap. This is cool there, that hotel. Yeah, that's neat. They've done a really good, nice job keeping it up. And that's one of the places that I guess everybody seems to show this place. Weather. <laughs> Alpine pizza. Here we get, we're getting closer to the college area, or I should say more in distance wise. Yeah. The college kind of encompasses this whole thing. Yeah, this whole side of the, the street of Maine anyway is all college, college housing, college eateries. But, yeah, they got uh, tons of stuff here. Got to give them the whole tour. Yep. Actually, y'all need to come up here and take a look at it for yourself because it's, uh, trust me, the cameras don't do enough for this place. Yep. You got to see it yourself. The good uh, convertible town in the summer. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see a lot of motorcycles, but good convertible town. Okay, so we're going to take you down through what they call Butler. This is kind of the the other... <clears throat> commercial district. Yeah, but it you have like two main roads. Like going and out on this side that parallel the 66. So. Route 66. <laughs> Calls on six. There's the highway right there. I-40. That used to be a Costco or a Sam's Club. Yeah. I think it's something else. <laughs> well, that's still Sam's Club. Okay. I don't know if they have a Costco here. I don't think they do. <clears throat> that used to be an ace. Yeah, it's that was we, a long time ago because I remember going there for our. Uh, it's where we bought our stove. stove yeah. yeah. And that was home cooking. Was it? I thought it yeah. was ace. Okay. Oh. Yeah, but this is one thing you can expect from driving around actually in Flagstaff. There is a lot of lights and traffic. So, but it's very unusual to have to wait more than one turn of the lights to yeah. get through. And during the week, it's you know during the week during the middle of the day, it's it's really quiet. This is like noon on a Saturday. Yeah, rent one of those bad boys and take it for a spin. Yeah. Oh, they're dusty. <laughs> Expect you to clean it. Oh, I should hope not. But that should. Used to be a, a lumber yard. Hardware is a place, yeah. The welding shop. The other welding shop. 
when you've got that all done, it looks nice. Yeah, it does. Boots uh, back there. More little shops, Dutch Brothers. <laughs> yeah, uh, they REI sporting goods. Yeah, it looks pretty nice out actually today. Yeah. Right now it's 83, so. Not bad. That ain't bad with. Uh, <clears throat> With the heat wave. With the heat wave going on right now. And up here this At least is we a, sure like it. <laughs> well, and this is a heat wave for them. It's a little breezy. But we also, we just kind of wanted to take you through all this. It's so you're not just getting the flavor of the main street. You're not, you know, we want to show you everything that we can within reason on a video. But, uh, you know, this kind of gives you an idea of what, what you'll be into if you, you know, thought about moving here, or at least coming here to visit. Because they are business friendly here. So starting a business if you wanted to, you know, and you might want to cater to the college. Uh, or the tourists. Or the tourists, yes. <clears throat> that building right there is kind of cool. Another apartment building. Yeah, that's kind of unusual with the plain metal siding that's starting to rust yeah. on purpose. I kind of like it, actually. Um, I'm going to have to paint it. Huh? I'm going to have to paint it. Yeah. They're doing a good job of making them look good here because I mean, it's not just plain ones, and of course, you make more money with nice setups. So, yeah, it said they make a match, yeah, because I guess uh, dorm rooms and all that type of uh, living at this college they're, they're just locked up, you're not gonna get into one. Plus, there's lots of hotels here, uh, you know, for family coming here with their kids in college to visit and so forth. So that's kind of nice. It's funny that building has been so many different things, but the cow stays. Oh, yeah. It used yeah. to be a secondhand furniture store. That's how they gave directions here, too. Oh, yeah. You know, you get to the building with a cow on it, take a right, or, you know. Keep going. <laughs> Yeah, the cow has been there forever. And the building's been repainted, but they keep the cow. Ooh. I think they'd uh, get run out of town if they painted <laughs> over that cow. Yep. She's been there a while. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a right here going west on Route 66 the original coming up. Yeah, the Main Street part kind of got swallowed up into other things. You know, more, yeah. You know, a downtown district, and it's not not the same with the uh, the old uh, old hotels and old houses and old businesses. Yeah, that used but to as be you a, see, Route 66. It's cops, just be cool. Just be cool. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, but this is the old Route 66, and we're, as you can see, the apartment complex. Are <laughs> wow, that is That something. thing is pretty big. Now, the flashing red means be, uh, pause and look. Hit the people walking, what? No, you can just kind of All stop right. and look and then go. Yeah, yeah. That's then you have the Galaxy Diner over here to your left. That is really a cool place to go eat. Yeah, it, the, the decor. Oh, just, they did a really good job. And then the chicken fried steak. 
Yeah. I didn't think I liked chicken fried steak until I ate one there. The original Home Depot. Yeah, this is uh, that was one of the first ones. They have two up here. Yep. The other one's over by the dog food plant. Yeah. The new one. <laughs> Give you an idea back here how their track home living is. Then you have the Mavericks. They, the Arizona is full of Mavericks. I don't know where else they are, but they're right over here. I forgot what state, Nevada maybe? Or Utah. Yeah, I know. It was, uh, then you have a uh, solar uh, where they do the windmills and all kinds of stuff over here. But they have the Kit Carson RV Park. That's been here for decades. Oh, just a long time. I always like these row houses. At least they painted them all different so you won't get lost if you come home drunk. <laughs> you just gotta remember what color was mine. So if you live in a same color houses, you know, all the rest of them, then you don't drink so much. Yeah, uh, like this one. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, let's go ahead and turn this dude around. We'll go back up. It is a nice uh, RV park there. Yeah, it is. I mean, you're close, but not too horrible. You don't want to hear your neighbor's burp. <laughs> yeah. So right now, this is University Avenue and Woodland Village Boulevard. Boulevard. So I guess Woodlands Village is the mall down here? Yeah. Okay. What's in? Just some more apartment complexes. Oh, no. Wow. We haven't been back in here in a while. Yeah, firehouse uh footwork, your pie. Pizza and beer. I was thinking like apple or cherry. <laughs> Yeah, you got bubble wild wings, you got all the normal stuff. Northern Arizona University. We'll go ahead and take a little run down this way. I totally paused. Also have their own dome that's coming up right there. I 
and there you go, Wildcats. <laughs> just kidding, it wasn't Wildcats. I just said that it was the Lumberjacks. <laughs> Right there to the right is uh, the dome. Yeah, that's been there it's a, a It's time. a nice, nice build. We've been in there. Watch the sun's cracks. Mm -hmm. We'll go up this way. What? weird that it stretches from here all the way into town. Yeah. Just a huge campus. There's a practice field. And the Lumberjacks? Nope. But you can tell that building's been around since the 70s, early 60s. Definitely got a mid-century modern theme. Now we're going. Let's go ahead and end this here. We give you. Hopefully, we've given you a lot of. Uh, you know, a lot of looks at what Flagstaff is and what it you know has. And, you know, if we uh, have given you something good, if you yeah. could hit that thumbs up button for us, would you? And if you would also is to uh, do that subscribing thing, you know? Yeah, and a notification bell. Oh yeah, that always helps. I like that when people say, hey, I got something new. So I appreciate it, and I guess we'll see you on the next one. Bye. See ya.